Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's Brandon Heath back to watch more Bleach. This episode 354. Finishing off this series, guys. Couple more episodes left. This one, another one, and then the last one, 356. Uh, so far, right now, I think I'm basically watching the battle between all the other battles, like the side battles. Uh, I'm hoping to see the battle between Byakuya and Tsukishima this episode. That'll be fucking fantastic. Again, major fan service. I'm really liking how they're, you know, they're they're they're, they're trying to they're trying to give us something great before we, you know, end the series off. Uh, but yeah. Good. Now, I mean, uh, you know, like I said, I will decide and tell you all what I think towards the end of the series. But let's go. Let's get this started. You guys know all the announcements. Comment, like, subscribe, and bell for notification. Uncut early access on Patreon, YouTube memberships. Thank you all for watching with me. I love you guys. You guys are so beautiful. Let's do this. No, princess, please go. <laughs> you don't have brains, but you sure got a lot of guts. Wait. You think this Tsukishima guy is really worth risking your life for? What? Uh, of course. No, my Mr. Right Tsukishima's there. super strong and smart, and I would gladly die for him. That's not what I meant. If you're risking it all, he should do the same. Yep. Boss, comrade, subordinate, it doesn't matter. You should only die for someone who'd do the same for you. Yes, Throwing facts, your life guys, away without thinking is only something a kid like, would do. These animes, bro, they be giving us some damn good life lessons that you don't need to take within your life. Right now. When this fight's finally over. I want you to kill him. It's fucked up, bro. They're just using him like a goddamn pawn. I'm gonna make this quick and painless. That way you won't have the time for any regrets. Yeah, bro. You still wanna fight him? And what was that? Just a trap I set. You set traps too now, dude. When did you set it? A long time ago. When I cut the ground earlier, that allowed me to make it so that I've been here before. So this ability of yours works on people as well oh, as wow. inanimate objects. Okay. Damn, bro, you I might have some. I inserted more. myself into your Zanpakuto's past. As a result, your blade will never hit me again. That's. Oh fuck! This might be a situation. That moment of hesitation sealed your fate. Oh, wow. You paused, and in that second, you briefly wondered if I could possibly know about your Senpon Sakura's safe zone, didn't you? That safe zone even exists in its Bankai, Senbon Sakura Kageyoshi. Okay. With its tremendous offensive force and its impenetrable defensive capabilities. Damn, he's... That small, empty space is the only he's... known weakness that your weapon oh, possesses. Oh, he <laughs> Okay. So when someone's fighting against your Senbon Sakura, one must get in close, not retreat. But so tell me, who did you hear the term safe zone from? From you. Have you already forgotten what's happened here? Look at yourself. I cut you just now. Not even Haku Taken will work. Damn. Wow. That was really good transit. That was that was sick. I can't hurt something this cute. I just can't do it. Got you. Huh? Oof. I see you finally came out of hiding, huh? Are you excited that you finally get your chance to kill me? Enjoy this! Oh sure, dodge it like it's nothing, you cocky bitch! It ain't no kid show. It doesn't matter how much you increase your weapon's power. Try what you will. You can't win here. I think she knows Give that. Give up. Let's end this. Huh? What is this thing? Rukia Kuchki. I hereby permit you. Huh? Did you put her inside that doll? You can't hold your Zanpak toe looking like that, can you, Soul Reaper? Yeah, I mean, him. <laughs> Was I just able to do flash step? Well, how oh. about that? I'm trapped inside this stuff fleshy, but I'm still Oh yeah, damn. And I haven't lost any of my spirit energy. Oh wow. Hada, number 33. So cut sweet. It exploded inside the fleshy. <laughs> well, I'm not exactly sure what just happened. But that sure was dumb. The story of us Fullbringers shows how survival of the fittest can end up working in the real world. 
I was born with a special ability, a power that no one else had. By the time I was six, I felt like I was invincible. When I was seven, I met a guy who became my first crush. So without even thinking, I took him and hid him away in my treasure box. Wow, crazy. I was thrilled because I thought he'd want to stay with me and be mine forever. But as it turned out, that was not the case. Yeah, because you put him inside of a fucking box. I just couldn't stand to see the sad way he looked at me anymore. Yeah, bro. So I let him go. I didn't stop to think what the consequences would be if he told anyone about my power. I want to do a good job of showing both sides of the coin, man. Why die quietly because you're the minority? Take back your lives now! In the past, whether it was royalty or noble warriors, it was always the elite minority who ruled. You haven't done anything wrong. It's just that this world rewards its morons. I can see that. Tsukishiro! Damn it! I sympathize with the tragedy your people have experienced. However, I can't use that as an excuse to abandon my friends. If I use Tsukishiro one more time, your entire body will be frozen. How'd I get out of that plushie? I'm sorry. Really. I didn't want to use this to end our fight, but you left me no choice. Damn. Your blade broke. That was wise of you, disengaging your Shikai once you knew I discovered your safe zone. What's wrong? Are you unable to use Shikai with a broken sword? <laughs> Bankai. What are you doing? Whether you're in Shikai or in Bankai, once I'm in your safe zone, you are powerless. <clears throat> there are blades in the safe zone. You have revealed your weakness too soon. If I set up my blades to be within the safe zone, they can cut you. I'm perplexed. I don't recall you doing this in training. Trying to attack me in this manner is a ludicrous strategy. It's a suicidal maneuver. I think he has really good control of what he's doing, though, man. You gotta understand, this man ain't no fucking punk. He's been around the block. So in making the ill-advised decision to narrow your safe zone and increase the speed of your blades, I know how to neutralize Damn. and counteract every one of the keto techniques it's looking you really dicey. But if you feel you must, then go ahead. What the fuck was that? Oh, he just shot the whole fucking Zen Bomb Zakuro inside of him? Did you? You grabbed your own blades on purpose. I never thought you would fight me that way. Remarkable. For the first time, I experienced the ecstasy of being in that moment between life and death. Thank you. I thoroughly enjoyed this battle. Jesus. <laughs> Did he just say that? It was like, I've enjoyed the ecstasy of being in battle. Of between life and death. Oh, they really know how to give this fan service. They're doing it, man. The fan service is really, really up there, man. They're up in the ante on this shit. Uh, I gotta, I really did, did it, like, the fight between Tsukushima and, uh, and, uh, Byakuya, it, I, it, it went the way I felt like it should have went, and it did a good job of it, because Tsukushima basically said and did whatever was possible to, like, I guess, get into the head of fucking, you know, of, of, uh, of, uh, Byakuya. He was like, bro, I already know. You gotta understand. I already cut your shit. I'm like I already know what you about to do. In fact, I trained you to do all this shit. What a fucking sleazy ass ability he has. But it's very powerful, man. Like it's like he, he's like, it's like he's basically already won the match before you even got in there. But there's only I feel like a select few people that can like take that and be like, no, nah, I'm gonna figure it out. And Biaki is one of them, man. Like I, I love how he's able to sit there quietly. Like he's the kind of guy. That will go into a fight. He does so goddamn well. He will sit there and let you fucking talk and let you do your thing. And from every movement, he's watching you like a hawk, by the way. You don't think he is, but he is. 
and he will take whatever you're saying at that moment or doing, and he will find a way to use that against you in any way, shape, or form and take you down. Like, he reminds me of Itachi Uchiha, man, for real. Like, Itachi is a... Itachi is, is like a great person at figuring out in a fight what to do with what he has. He will sit there and he will he will examine the fight as far as he can and figure out which ability of his can take this fight into his favor. And I feel like Byakuya does the same exact thing. And plus, man, I feel like those two, can, like they, they, they remind me of each other really, really well. I bet Byakuya and, and uh, Itachi would like have a great hangout of like, you know, eating and, and I don't think they drink booze, but just hanging out. If anything, a great fight as well, too. That would be an amazing fight to watch, in my opinion. But, yeah, I feel like the conclusion was really well done. I love how he talked about the safe zone. It's just that, dude, Tsukishima went in there and was like, thought he had everything, on, on like, figured out. But, like, nah, this man, Byakuya, is just like, nope. I got something up my sleeve. And he pretty much did, man. He had all those fucking razor blades come out and just took the fam out like that. Now, I hope because of his death, all of those memories that he put, inserted himself into, it goes away. I know that was one of those fears that we had in the beginning. Was that going to be a situa- uh, thing or not? But I'm hoping that that will be the case. Uh, fight between Riruka and uh, Rukia. It's, it's just two girls, man. Two girls, you know, like I said, uh, good matchup. You know, they're talking their stuff out. Uh, I think, you know, another thing what the show really does good of is, is going, is showing, uh, I mean, actually most anime do, they do a great job of this. I'm showing both sides of the coin. They did a good job of, uh, you know, explaining how Ginjo got all these full bringers together. You know, they were broken in their own way. You know, when people are broken like that, they look for a family unit to be a part of. Um, I, you know, like, I used to have a thing where I would just, I would adopt the crazies, you know, and put them into my group. I still do that nowadays, you know what I mean? I've, I've created a new, I have a new group of crazies that I hang out with, and it's like, we just kind of adopt each other, you know? Like, when you need to, it's, it's creating a community of people that have, like, felt alone and distraught, but they, and they need each other to elevate each other, to help each other out and put them in a be- better positioning in life. With them, with, with the full bringers, you know, they, I mean, obviously there was, there's a very, how do I say this, uh, evil or like not so well intention behind getting them together because obviously Ginjo wanted the powers and yeah, but powers of Ichigo and to become more, to become stronger. But it did in turn put these outcasts together and put them in a group to try to work things out, you know, to try to kill that pain, that loneliness that they they were feeling. So I understand that, man. They did a good job of uh, showing just where everybody came from, you know? Um, Yeah, man, I feel bad for for him, bro. Like, it's it's sad, but the world is, you know, not the best place in the world. Survival of the fittest. Get it. And, uh, yeah, man, sometimes you got to do what you got to do to keep moving. You got to be with who you got to be to be around, you know, like, it's, because human beings, we need people, we need, we need people to talk to, to be around, to, you know, to bounce ideas off of, and we're a very social, social species, you know, but, yeah, good stuff, guys, good stuff, so I got two more episodes left, super stoked to finish them off, guys, I can't believe that we have come this far in this series, it's been a blessing back here, I'm really just loving it, um, yeah, man, thank you all for watching me, guys, I really appreciate it, uh, on the next one, stoked, happy, let's get it going, and, uh, see you on the next one, like I always say, please take care of yourself, your families, and I love you, bye.